Alright there guys, this is LLL2 for real. I'm part of Lowland Lions, Halo 3 team. This is my first video blog ever, so please go easy on me. Uh, my team and I just got back from European Console League and it was an awesome event. We did pretty well. It started off with uh, free for all. We got our coach in the top 16, actually. Infernus got top 16 while he didn't even play Halo 3 for like two months or something like that. And we got Pino and Shinado in the final. They did really, really well to get there. Uh, I don't know their exact placings. It isn't up yet, but we'll see. It was top 8. So, uh, yeah, the second day was f uh, 4, 4v4. We all went to the tournament just for that, basically. That was our main focus. And, yeah, we were aiming for uh, basically. I was aiming for that final, this top two, but we said as a team we're going for that top three spot. And we started off rough, like we had an easy, uh, we had a bye first round, then second round we had to play Katy Perry. Well, it was a makeshift team and it, it was quite easy for us to beat them 2-0. Then the best of five series started off and we had to play how many prelands? We yeah. all knew they were pretty good individually, so we know we didn't have to, we couldn't underestimate them and well we started off terrible like we got 2-0 behind in games so they needed to win one more and we were into, into the loser bracket and we were like nah nah that's not gonna happen so we stepped it up and won 3-2 we went nuts after that like we, we were really happy because we were almost in the loser bracket and um, after that we had to play Dig right away, Dignitas. This was the match we were looking for. Like we were like we have to beat Dig to do well at this event. So we got 2-0 behind the games again. So stressful. That's so hard mentally to overcome that and just like erase everything in your head and just start from game one. Like it was when, like starting off with the third game with 2-0 behind was not I was like I'm going to do this I'm not going into the loser bracket already and I think my, the whole team had the feeling like we could do this and we won we tied it up 2-2 two to two and the last game was game 5 was Heretic TS the most chaotic game ever like they had the they had the lead of 10 trunk 12 kills we got that back to uh, 49 to 48 to them and we got two kills at the end and right when we had the second kill they assassinated uh, Ritter but we had the, uh, the last kill first so we won 50 to 49 to win the series and we went nuts probably is there were lots of people recording it so we'll be up soon on YouTube um, yeah after that we were really happy and like we were about to go to eat and just chill because uh, we got told we didn't have to play Fnatic till the day after and we just decided to start watching Street Fighter uh, Lola Lions won it Ryan Hart sickest guy ever uh, well after that we wanted to go to, the, uh, to McDonald's or something just to get something to eat and we got told we had to play Fnatic not even on main stage so we were quite pissed but yeah you, you gotta do what you gotta do and we started playing that were 2-0 up I think or 1-0 up 2-0 up well we won one game they won this, uh, the first series 3-1 and we were in a loose bracket I wasn't that down because of it because I just know like okay we're in a loose bracket going to uh, play Cyrox or Phenomenon I was quite confident for that and after that we would have a rematch against Fnatic or against Power if uh, Fnatic won against Power in the winner bracket final. So we were quite like we weren't that down because we lost. So the next day we started off playing Cyrox right away, the other Dutch team. I really hope we wouldn't have to play them in the loser bracket because it's just they're such good friends of us and I didn't want to like send them home. And I think they had the same for us, but we did want to beat them, so we started off again really bad. They got up 2-0 in games again, so 
we were one game away of being sent home by a Dutch team. And we're like, nah, this is not happening. This is not happening. We started to get loud again. And we tied the series 2-2. Two to two. MTS last game. Shinado going big again in the last game. Sick, 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 sick. MTS, we didn't lose it once. Like, not online, not on land. So we're unbeatable on it, basically. After we won against Sarox, we had to play uh, the winner of TCM and Dig. We really expected Dig to beat TCM because of that six team land. I heard TCM weren't playing that well. But TCM surprised me and beat Dig. So we had to play them. Um, Started off quite well. I think we won the first game. Uh, they tied it up. We won the second game, and then the fourth game was really hectic. Like we were, uh, we were four one up at one point in the flag game. Captured the flag game, and they managed to win against us. Like they tied it up four to four and made that fifth five to four cap. We choked huge. But we didn't let that get into our heads, and the fifth game was MTS. MTS, no problem for us. Shinado going big. Like, every MTS, he goes huge, so we won MTS. So, yeah, we won that one, went through to the loose record final, it was, I think. Uh, yeah, we got top three because of that. So we had to play Fnatic again. It was a grudge match because like everyone knows how Baxter is. He's the most annoying guy ever. He's a nice guy but he's annoying as fuck. So um, we had to play them. Start off really well with the MTS again. We won that one. Uh, this, at one point the series were 4-3 to because they were already 3-1 up against us. So And it was best of 11. So at one point we got we managed to make it four to three to them, and they just edged us out. They were the better team, like they have been teaming for uh, longer than us. We're a pretty new team, and we, I saw a lot of room for improvement for our team. So I'm quite confident that we will do really well in the next event, like really well. So I'm not that bothered. We got third place really well we like we lost to Fnatic six to three at the end it's not bad for our first event um congrats to power and Fnatic like they're just the two best teams in Europe at, at this point we're coming like we're gunning for them but power just their teamwork is amazing they're at this point they're the best like, Fnatic cannot touch them at this point so uh I do think um at MLG that uh, Fnatic will do pretty well, Power will do even better and I hope we're going to the next MLG, I hope so, so we'll see how we're going to do there, we're going to practice our ass off again, oh and don't forget, uh, Shinado got MVP of the tournament, like most valuable player of them, that's, that's big stuff, so Shinado actually was the best player there, sick, that was, it was a great event for us, we had fun. Thanks to the Lowland Lions for sending us out, and uh, thanks for Creative for giving us that Vado HD camera to make a lot of pics, vids, and actually make this video blog for all your fans and supporters. Thanks a lot. See you at the next event. Don't land, Donch.